Aborted fetuses are being bought and sold by the federal government. This is a Christian Headlines report. And I have to say, I put this story out yesterday. And the way that we're doing the show now, I'm putting stories out the well, most of the sh- stories, not all of them, but most of them the day before, so that I get a good sense of, of, of the stories that people are interested in. And this story didn't get a lot of traffic, didn't get a lot of notice. I'm not sure why it didn't get noticed, but I put it in the show anyway, because I think this is a pretty significant story. This goes to the heart of 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 the nature of abortion, and the, 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 the video version of this story is going to be called Federal Government is Buying, Selling the Dead, the discarded corpses of the aborted. And we'll get to this this Christian Headlines report. We're just going to get to this this story here. Uh, I think we might primarily just talk about this story here, but we'll see how it goes. Top set 10 sickening details of how federal workers traffic dead babies. This is from The Federalist. Uh, this is an excerpt from The Federalist. This article contains disturbing information about human dismemberment. In what should have been a national headline, the exposure of the U.S. government's involvement in trafficking aborted baby bodies is now even more newsworthy following last Friday's announcement from the White House at at President Biden's direction, the Department of Human Health Services. Uh, the U.S. Well, let me let me let me go to the ar- article here and, and get this. Now, I, I got the one the important uh, excerpt right here re- related to our story, but I'm going to get back to what they have to say about the health and human health services here in a moment. The U.S. The Food and Drug Administration paid an estimated two thousand dollars per individual baby, at times adding up to twelve thousand dollars per box of harvested organs. Email records confirm the FDA agreed to prepay advanced bioscience bioscience resources, likely the country's largest fetal tissue trafficking firm, an estimated $2,000 for each aborted child, adding up to $12,000 per average box of tissue with shipping and packaging fees. I'll get back to what they had to say about uh, in the beginning here. At President Biden's direction, the Department of Health and Human Services reversed the Trump administration's policy protecting preborn Americans from the callous dehumanization of organ harvesting and further desecration of their bodies in research disguised as science. Just imagine if you're one of the human beings who derive your living from going around and collecting the dead bodies of fetuses and how when it, whenever you start to make money doing anything, like I am getting paid to do this job, so there's a certain amount of ownership on me that that getting paid to do this job puts on me. A certain amount of uh, entanglement that happens where I'm compelled to continue to reinforce whatever beliefs, habits, presumptions are connected to the type of stories that I'm deriving my living from sharing with others. And imagine now that's something that I'm kind of wary of. I'm kind of careful about. I don't know how is, is I'm careful as I should be or could be, but at least it's something that I attempt. But imagine if you're a human being that derives their living from going around and collecting the dead body parts of aborted fetuses and how much you are entangled into a system that relies on the perpetuation of human beings coming to a decision to have their child terminated by another human being through a brutal process of hacking and cutting and tearing and sucking out. Imagine if you're that human being, how does that human being even sleep at night? What kind of moral constructs have you built in your head to allow yourself to escape the the eternity that God has put in you? This is Ecclesiastes 3.11. Uh, he has made everything beautiful in its uh, time Also, he has placed into man's heart eternity, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to end. The eternity that you have in your heart, as I as I see it, is this is this is God's truth. This is this is where you get your morality from, whether you believe God or not. This is where to be to borrow from the presuppositional apologist. Uh, And I'm not necessarily a presuppositional apologist, although I do recognize a lot of truths that they share. This is the truth that you have in you, and the nature of of abortion is absolutely ball worship. Ball demanded that your children be sacrificed. Ball, a false god, a god invented by human beings, not a real god like our Lord. And what you end up with here is basically an upside down Christ sacrifice. Christ was the perfect sacrifice. The he was the well he was the perfect uh, 
yes, he was the perfect sacrifice. He was the unblemished lamb, and he went to the slaughter voluntarily, consensually. He went to the slaughter, and he went to 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 pay for our sins so that we could be free from sin. Not that so we could keep on sinning, but so that we could be free from sin. Abortion, it takes an, an, an innocent life, not even as innocent as Christ, because that, that unborn child is not even as innocent as Christ, but still innocent compared to us. That innocent life, and you take it to the altar against its will, non-consensually, and you slaughter that child so that sin can continue. It is the absolute reversed Christ uh, uh, image, and any nation state that allows for legal abortion is, well, putting itself under under great condemnation. And in the patterns of God, when you live out the patterns of God, if you're not following the patterns of God, surely the whole world around you will begin to disintegrate. And we can see since 1973, I don't want to make an exact cause and effect correlation. That, uh, but now I, I suspect there is a, a, a precise cause and effect correlation, but I don't think that you could scientifically make that claim necessarily. You can't scientifically rule it out either. Uh, but I would say that there's a direct cause and effect between the, the morality of the American people and what happened in 1973 with Roe v. Wade. And our morality began to decline, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. So now we worship the created, and we call upon our children to be sacrificed, not just through abortion, but in all kinds of other ways. And I'll get to that in other episodes, I'm sure, that we call upon our children to be sacrificed so that we can keep on sinning.